fair result on Sunday to scrape a point after the first half. Um, another confidence booster for, for you guys? Yeah, in terms of our, um, our persistence and um, you know, push really to, to get a result back, I think most definitely that was um, a very pleasing side of our game. Uh, not pleasing, obviously, to, to concede two goals. Um, you know, and put ourselves in that position in the first place. But you know, nevertheless, we've we've come back and um, grinded out a, a result for ourselves. And you know, I guess we could say we, we went home pretty happy. You talk us through your your goal. It seemed not only fooled Sydney, but fooled the ref as well. Did you know the ref was chasing you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, yeah, strange set piece that was, wasn't it? Um, I thought he was going to get in my way, um, but I was just hoping for the best that he wouldn't and um, you know, just try to keep myself focused to, to put it where I, where I wanted to put it and you know, um, you know, something that we, we just whipped up there um, on the spot and um, you know, surprised a few people, I think maybe even ourselves and um, yeah, it was just turned out to be a, a good one. How do you and Craig decide who's going to take the set piece? We've seen before, rock, paper, scissors is sometimes the solution. How do you, how do, you do it on the fly? Um, yeah, it's just sort of feeling in the game and um, who's feeling in, um, in a good position and, and confident to really to take that, that set piece, I guess. Um, you know, the other night, you know, Craig, Craig's obviously, you know, um, a good set piece taker. Um, we've seen it in the past and you know, first priority I definitely give to him regarding that. Um, but you know, I said to him there on the spot, you know, if you're not feeling you know right for it, um, I'm happy to give it a crack. So um, yeah, it was just something that we whipped up on the spot, and you know, like I said, it worked out pretty well. <laughs> you must be thrilled three goals in the last three matches. What do you sort of put your, your form back to since you know coming back from injury? Um, yeah, it's just a good question. I mean, I guess just being calm and. Um, you know, really composed in, in my game now and um, not doing anything silly and, um, you know, doing maybe extras on the park. But um, those are, the, those are the, probably the main points and yeah, just really uh, catching on to the way the boys have been playing and, and the, the style of press that we use because I think it's really effective for us. And, um, you know, once we get the hang of it and, you know, that's what I've you know, done now in the past few games and it's worked really well. And, just gives us a lot more energy going forward when we have the ball. So, um, you know, that's a pleasing side for it. Are you confident in your, in your body now? <laughs> it's silly. I, it's hard to, I don't want to drink, jinx it, you know what I mean? Um, but, you know, I'm definitely feeling in a good place. Um, you know, since I've come back from the injury, uh, I think I've, you know, ticked a lot more boxes than I expected me to, to do in, the, um, in that process. So. Um, it's pleasing. Um, I'm happy where I'm at right now. Um, am I at my best? No, but um, I'm in a good spot. How long will it take you to get back to your best? Well, there was a room that you had two injuries at the same time, or we had one and then the other that kept you sidelined for so long. How are they both tracking now? Um, like I said, I'm in a good spot now. I'm in a good place, and you know, I think I've kind of put that behind me. Um, you know, in terms of being at my best, I mean, I guess you can sort of contemplate someone being out for 18 months not playing a game um, how much and how long it will take them to, to really get at their best so you know that's just a process for me um, I just look at it as a marathon rather than a sprint obviously and um, it's just something that will take a little bit of time but you know I think I've shown in the past few games that you know, I'm in, in a good spot and you know I've hit some some form now and it's, I'm in a good purple patch so hopefully I can um, keep this up and I'm positive I will To be honest, um, I haven't really had the time to think about it. Obviously, um, working back from the injuries that I that I had, um, you know, and I'm just happy to be back on the park now and, and really, you know, doing my job and and helping out the lads as much as I can. Um, you know, I think everyone's pretty happy that um, I'm in a good spot now, and hopefully, I can just keep it this way and. You know, what happens in the near future or, or down the track, um, it's out of my hands, but I think the main, the main thing for me to focus on now is, is me and, and Adelaide. And just personally, I mean, Russia 2008 only seemed to, such a long time ago. But how have you developed since then? And, and I guess what's that experience of being, you know, I think you featured in all three games, didn't you? What's that? How's that helped you grow as a, grow as a footballer? 
Um, I definitely think the mental side of things, I learnt a lot um, in the past few years, even, um, you know, even after Russia. So, you know, that was an experience in, excel in itself. Um, you know, not everybody gets to, you know, walk that path and, you know, I was lucky enough to do it. Um, you know, I definitely don't want it to be my last one. Um, it's too early to say anything, um, you know, about, you know, what will happen, but it's definitely in the back of my mind and, and the motivation for me to, to keep doing well and, and work on myself. Um, but, you know, like I said, now it's important for me to, you know, really kick on and, and continue doing what I'm doing. And, you know, what happens in the future is, you know, sort of out of my hands. So we'll see how it goes. Did you get any feedback from the National Setup or did they just leave you to your own devices sort of thing while you've, since you've come back? Um, since I've been back in Australia, I've been in touch a couple of times um, with the national setup. Um, as of late, not, not nothing, but um, you know, obviously being out with the injury and whatnot. Now, um, you know, I guess we'll wait and see. Um, I think the, the the decisions will be coming up, you know, quite soon. But you know, whatever it is, at the end of the day, um, it is. I'm I'm happy and I'm in a good place. And you know, as long as I'm back playing football, um, that's just what keeps a smile on my dog. Is there any concern um, if you do get caught up that you might potentially miss some early final satellites and you're tracking pretty well? Yeah, um, you know, obviously it's not the greatest of, of setups that we have here in the A-League, um, you know, regarding the national team and the league. Um, you know, it would be a, a big disappointment, you know, to be doing so well in the season with the club and um, putting ourselves in a, in a great position and, you know, not being able to sort of fulfil that um, that role and, and be in that environment at that time, but you know that's just the perks and uh, of the of the Socceroos that you, I guess um, you know get to put on that uh, yellow shirt, um, and obviously there's some cons on on, a, on that side as well. So um, you know that's just football. It's life. Um, it is what it is. It, it definitely needs a change. Um, you know so we can give our A League boys an opportunity to represent your country and you know, not miss out on your club duties as well, but um, I think we'll, we'll work on that with the PFA. Um, you might get some firepower back this week with Mohamed Touré. Because see how they sort of tracking at the moment? Yeah, um, obviously you've got to update um, yeah, just before the interview. Um, but, you know, the boys look in good spirits. Um, that's as much as I can say. Um, as, as of where they're at in their rehab and, and, and them coming back, um, you know, I'm probably not the best person to ask, but um, yeah, they're, they're, all, they're all training, um, they're happy, um, they're coming back and, and on the pitch and, um, you know, it's positive news for us that we have numbers coming back and, you know, we've got a lot of games coming up in, in, the, in the short turnarounds that we're going to be having, so um, everyone's going to play a part and going to be really important for us. Yeah, what does it mean to have that sort of depth, you know, all of a sudden back in the, the squad, especially coming down to the second half of the season and into final soon? This is the business end of the season, so um, everybody wants to be back. Um, you know, we want to give the, the boss a few headaches in selection issues, but um, you know, I think that's that's a big positive for us. Um, I don't know how many clubs have that opportunity. Um, you know, a lot of clubs rely on you know 12, 15 players um, anywhere in between that bracket. But you know, we've got some young boys coming through who have shown in the past. Um, you know, some good potential um, and now it's up to them to, to come back and, and do it again. So um, I think they, they have a lot to, to offer um, and we'll just see how it goes and hopefully they can contribute a lot, um, you know, to our success. Still on the tour, I mean, we only see obviously what's on the pitch. You see them every day of training and, and how they sort of carry themselves and how mature they are. Do they surprise you with what they can do? And I think you mentioned the word potential there. Just uh, your comment on how high they see one could be. Um, yeah, it's um, it's difficult to say really. Um, you know, obviously I'm a I'm a player um, at this point. Um, I think. If I was a coach or, or a scout or something like that, um, I'd, I'd have a little bit more insight on, on where they could go. But um, from what I see on the pitch um, and in, in the training sessions is they have potential. Um, at the end of the day, it's up to them how they use it, um, how they embrace it and really how far they can push themselves and take themselves. Um, you know, it's all in their hands and um, everything is sort of uh, down to the path that they take, so um, you know, 
they're good boys, a good bunch of boys, um, all the young fellas. So hopefully this is the right environment for them. The club's, I think, doing a great job with them. So, um, you know, the sky's the limit for them. One last one for me. Um, yep. The coach said when he signed you uh, at the start of the season, 14 goals is what he, he wanted. Do you think you can still, you can still get there? 14, um, <laughs> yeah, um, why not? I mean, um, you know, we're playing some great football right now, um, some attacking ball and, um, you know, I've been getting in quite a few good positions um, and scoring positions. So hopefully I can, you know, contribute more and, and finish them off. And, um, you know, I, I think this is only the beginning now. I've come back for, from the injuries that we've mentioned. Um, you know, it's been three games now um, and I've, I've hit a sort of good patch. If I can keep this going, um, you know, I reckon uh, we could get close to that number, if not more.